Conservative me and peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion and the MMA expert, joined by Paul Villarreal over there right now. Now, we're talking about an unbelievable fight. This is Fedor versus Dan Henderson, and I have to admit that this time, the MMA expert, JDV, he was wrong. This thing went down so crazy, dude. This first round was just like boom, 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 crazy, and it was, it was up against the cage. They were doing different things, throwing different things, and in the end, Hendo put a sneaky little move and did a little bailout there towards the uh, uh, Fedor's right side, slipped out, and then when Fedor was trying to get him, bam, with the uppercut, and Fedor just went face first. Oh, man, now there's a lot of people talking about a lot of things. And we're gonna talk about too. Was it an early stoppage? What happens next to Fedor? Those are those are videos we're gonna hit later. Right now, this is all about Hendo. And War Henderson. I love Fedor. And I really thought that thought, thought that Fedor was going to win this fight for the reason I said. But I also said that Henderson was live because of the H bomb. And the H bomb is what did it with that uppercut. I think that uh Fedor was showing what I said in this fight. He was bigger, he had power. I thought that Henderson was maybe wearing down a little bit. I was a little bit surprised with some of the tentativeness of Fedor there, but he seemed to be taking control, and right when he took control, it slipped back against him. I mean, this is just, I don't even know what to say. This is so insane. Paul, everyone is reacting to this right now. We already got a video up and people are talking about. What do you think about this Fedor versus Henderson fight and how it all went down? Just like you, I think Fedor, he looked great. I saw a workout footage from a couple days ago in the Fight Hotel. He looked amazing, lean, quick. You gotta give Dan Henderson props. He, he found, he was able to hit Fedor with his right with his right hand early in the fight. He was able to control Fedor on the fence. And let's be clear here, Dan Henderson's about five, you know, five years older than Fedor. Now Fedor might be on the downside, but you know, Dan Henderson's not a spring chicken either. Dan Henderson fought smart. And when he saw an opening, when Fedor turned his back in that last little clinch, he hit him with that right uppercut. Maybe some people thought it was stopped too early, I understand that, but Dan Henderson got the job done. Hendo got the job done. He was smart and he fought smart. Maybe he was a little bit undersized, but Hendo looked great. And what I liked about Hendo is he came out aggressive from step one, dude. And he just, boom, he went in there and just got him against the fence and he did what he needed to do. Hendo came in there with the plan and he executed and he was doing his thing and you know what I think that if I break this all down at the end of the day Fedor had the tools to win this fight he had the tools he was a bigger man maybe more powerful more submissions whatever like that but Henderson had the will and he had the H bomb and he outsmarted him it was that you know he's had this Olympic level competition He's had these multiple championships in pride and, and, and straight force and all this type of stuff. And I think Henderson used that championship experience where he, he said to himself, okay, I'm getting stuck now, I'm trying to get away. He had the awareness, this championship awareness, where it's okay, he now he's on his back. It's like, I'm gonna use my wrestling, he uses superior wrestling, even though Fedor had the sambo, you know, superior wrestling to slip out the back there, right? To do sort of an escape. And, and he has such great sort of balance and timing from that level of wrestling, that level of that championship mentality. As soon as he saw an opening there, where basically Fedor couldn't defend himself, Fedor with, with both legs there and push it up against the, push it off against the ground, boom, just unbelievable accuracy on that uppercut and he just smoked Fedor. Dude, this is what championship stuff is made about. And Henderson's the one that made it happen. Now, from what I saw, and we'll deal with it next, because I don't want to, I'm just going to preview it right here, but we'll deal with that in another video right here. From what I saw, very interesting stoppage. I can almost see it both ways. And I'm just going to leave it at that right there. I will say this little bit more about that, that I would... In my personal opinion, first of all, this is all personal opinion, not legend. In fact, I can't say it's personal, all for your entertainment, period, personal opinion, check the clips. In my personal opinion, I would have liked to have seen it going a little bit more, but at the same time, you know, when I saw the replay, especially from one angle, Fader was flat on his face. And as soon as he got hit, he face planted. And there's some other things I want to say, but we're going to leave that to the next video. 
So, I want to know right now from you guys, before I turn it over to Paul for a last comment, what do you think about this fight? What do you think happens next? I want to know about Fedor, about Henderson versus Fedor. I want to know how, how much you like the fight. I want to know about what you think about happens to Fedor now having uh, lost three times in a row. What about Henderson? Does this make him one of the best ever? What about this stoppage? I want to know about everything, the whole situation. You're going to give us the comments below and subscribe below. But first, Paul, what do you want to say in closing? This fight, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's so intense. I mean, it puts it all into focus right here. Just one more thing, wrapping up. Henderson, he beat Fajal, and he was he, Henderson is really showing what this H bomb is all about. This right hand of his. I mean, it has just devastated Fajal, and now Fedor. I mean, it, 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 it is just, he's really on a roll right now. And in some ways, Henderson looks better than he ever has potentially. This is so insane right now. What happens now, Fedor Henderson? How good is this fight? What's up next? I want to hear all of it. Comments below. Subscribe above. I'm John T. Valero, the four-time national champion and the MMA expert. That is Paul. Huge props to Dan Henderson for this huge win. And we will see you next time you're watching Conservative Media.